<laughs> Former men's marathon record holder Wilson Kipsang has intensified his training ahead of this year's London Marathon to be held next month. Kipsang, who has won the race twice, will make a return to the streets of London after his last outing in 2016 where he finished fifth. Bernard Ndong spent a session with the marathoner as he prepares to make his long-awaited return. 37-year-old Wilson Kipsang has been under the radar after finishing third at the Berlin Marathon in 2018, where his compatriot and good friend Eliud Kipchoge set a new world record of 2 hours, 1 minute and 39 seconds. Kipsang achieved the same feat at the same course five years ago, but has had mixed fortunes since then. We caught up with the 2014 London Marathon champion who was preparing for this year's race in Ngong Hills, a key training venue for many star athletes. When you come to Ngong, uh, within this region you find that uh, it's one of the highest places when it comes to altitude and uh, you can easily pick your chef very well. And uh, many guys have been training here, guys like Paul Tercat, breaking the world record, running uh, five times cross country, he used to train in Ngong. Kipsang's training program is structured into three intensive and three light sessions. We followed the former Tokyo Marathon champion for an easy run that covered 21 kilometers. Kipsang took part in the London Big Half last Sunday to assess himself before the main 42 kilometers race in April. You find that uh, it's good to have a race in between so that you can easily catch yourself and try to see whether you, are, you have enough endurance whether you have enough speed and uh, the half marathon will really uh, give me a, a clear uh, picture of how I've been training. Kipsang conducts his runs with a training group which provides him with a good platform to push himself to the limit. When Wilson Kipsang is training with his colleagues, you can see in the background there, what they're trying to do as well is to mimic race conditions. Uh, you can see there he's positioned at the lead and sometimes he's been moving into the middle. Just gives him a sense of what to expect when he's competing at the London Marathon next month. In the past two years, Kipsang has had good tidings in Japan, winning the Tokyo Marathon in 2017 and the Tokushima Marathon in 2018. He finished sixth at the Big Half in London on Sunday, but despite missing the podium, he will use his performance as a yardstick for double the distance in the same city on the 28th of April. And uh, this one being my first marathon, the spring marathon, I think uh, I'm really focusing so much because the last time I competed was in 2016 and uh, it's now like uh, two years. So I want to really come back uh, strongly. The world record was broken last year in Berlin, the same course where Kipsang made marathon history in 2013, clocking two hours, three minutes and 23 seconds. A recent research by an international university concluded that running under two hours would only happen after 13 years. Uh, with, with the kind of approach you find that uh, it might not reach 2032. Because if it, now that so many guys are approaching to break the world record, within no time you'll find somebody running 200. And then you find another one running 159.58. Kipsang will battle it out against current record holder Eliud Kipchoge and the big half marathon winner Britton Mo Farah. Bernard Ndong for Citizen TV.